All right, we're gonna start this kickboxing class with a pre-fight warm-up. Start to twist the torso. Bring the hands up in guard, make fists, cover the face. And we're just gonna turn from side to side, waking up the core as we pivot on the foot to practice that movement so that when we punch, we have some power. You're gonna pivot the foot into the center, one side and then the other. Find that torso twist. You'll feel the core start to loosen up, start to wake up as we go from side to side. We're gonna turn this into a slip where we're gonna crunch forward towards one side and then the other. Almost like you're dodging a punch. Keep the gaze forward and we're taking slips. We're in our pre-fight warm-up. We've got conditioning drills today. We've got punching and kicking drills. We're working the core and increasing our endurance with a little bit of cardio in between each drill. We're gonna take it to a bob and weave. It's a slight squat or a dip as you duck a punch or as if you're getting in the ring for your fight. Find that bob and weave. It's a little setback and a little rotation. Waking up the core and the lower body. Keep it right here. For three, two, one. We're gonna take a duck for one and then we're gonna shuffle for four. So give me a duck and then shuffle. Duck and shuffle. Warming up the feet and the ankles. Keep those hands in guard. You're ducking down and then shuffling for four. Maybe you move around on the mat. Duck and shuffle. Duck and shuffle, good. Let's do two more. Duck it down and give me those shuffles. Last one, duck and shuffle. We're gonna to start towards the edge of our mat. We're gonna throw some jabs and then come with a cross body punch. Some traveling jabs and a cross. Remember as you punch, you're throwing that punch across the body. You're pivoting on that same foot. Turning the hip into that cross. Keep moving. Jab, jab, cross. We got one more. Last one. Very good. We're going to keep the hands in guard. We're going to take a couple of steps back. Step forward and give me a crescent knee. The knee comes up and we swing it out to the side. Waking up the hips. Keep the hands in guard and keep the core tight. A couple of steps back and we drive that crescent up and out. We're blocking a kick or a punch. Pull the knee up and swing it out. We've got two more. We're gonna turn these crescent knees into snaps. Couple steps back, step forward and give me a snap kick. This snap kick comes from the top of the foot. We've got four more. Four, three, two, last one. We're gonna turn these snaps into a push. You're gonna drive the heel forward, pushing your opponent away from you. Push. A slight lean back as you push from the heel. Couple steps back, couple steps forward, push. We've got three more. Two. Last one, we're gonna take it to a nice, easy jump rope. Swinging the hands. Light bounce on the foot to finish off this pre-fight warm-up. 
Jump rope is good for our entire body, including our brain. We'll keep this jump rope going for 25 seconds. Swing in the arms. Keep that light balance on the ball of the foot. We're almost there. Body should be totally warm and ready to go. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Relax, shake it out. Grab a drink and catch your breath. Nice work. When you're ready, you can meet me with your left side facing, hands in guard. And we're just going to find some movement here, pivoting on those feet, contemplating your move. We're gonna go through this first combo a couple of times slow, and then we'll pick up the pace. If you're ready, we're gonna take a jab. We've got a cross, we've got a jab. I'm gonna step in with my back foot and lift my front knee for a block. I'm gonna bring it down and step back. I'm gonna step forward and take a big crescent kick. We're starting big out of the block today. Again, nice and slow. It's a jab cross, jab. Step it in, give me a knee block, step it back, give me a crescent. Good. One more time, slow. Jab cross. Pull it in. Give me a block, step it back, step it forward for that kick. All right, we're picking up the pace. We've got a minute on the clock. Let's go, it's a jab cross. Step, block, step, kick. Keep the hands in guard and keep the core tight. Move around on the mat, jab, cross. Throw another jab, we're gonna step it in and block, step it back and give me a kick. If you don't like that crescent kick, take another crescent knee. Again, jab, cross, jab. We step in and block. We step back out of the way of a punch. We step forward. Maybe you just give me the crescent knee and reset. Jab, cross, jab. Block and kick or knee block, up to you. Jab, cross, jab. Step it in for that block. Step it in for the kick, good. Take some pauses between each combo if you like, or pick up the pace. It's totally up to you. Find a tempo that works and try to have fun. Jab, cross, jab. Step it up for that knee block. Step it back. Step it up for that kick. Good. Let's do one more. Jab, cross, jab. Step up, knee block. Step back, step up, crescent. Nice job. Shake out the arms. Nice big kick to start off our combos today. Our conditioning drill. We've got four bob and weaves, and then we're gonna take it to a thruster, meaning we're gonna get down to the ground and back up. You can step or jump. It's totally up to you. I'll show you the modification first, and then I'll show you the challenge. We've got a minute on the clock. Let's go hand to guard. We're gonna bob and weave for one, two, three, four. You're gonna modify by stepping back into your plank, step forward and bring it up. Back to the bob and weaves for four. Now, more challenging, hands down, jump back, jump forward with those hands in guard for those four bob and weaves. We're here for 30 seconds, more. Take your time, jump or step. Step the feet or jump the feet outside of the hands as you come up, back to the hands in guard. Slight bend in the knee for four bottom weaves. You got it. We're here for 15 seconds. Sometimes you get knocked down in boxing and you got to get back up. Hands down, step or jump back, step or jump forward, hands in guard. Nice job. Shake it out. Let's take a quick break. Good job. We've got that combo in South Paul with our right side facing. When you're ready, hands and guard. Find that pivot position. 
Take a couple deep breaths. Same combo. You guys know the drill. It's a jab, cross, jab. We're going to step up to a knee block. Bring that foot down, step back, step up to a crescent or a crescent knee. Again, nice and slow. Jab, cross, jab. Step it up for the block. Step it back. Step it up for the kick. Good. Your kick does not have to be high. I'm an overachiever. Let's pick up the pace. We've got a minute and a half on the clock. When you are ready, it's a jab, cross, jab. Step block. Take it back. Step kick. That crescent kick can be nice and low. Reset every time. Jab, cross, jab. Block and find your kick. There's a low crescent. Whatever works for you, whatever pace, whatever tempo, and whatever height that you like. Good. Jab, cross, jab, block, and kick. Good. Keep it up. Reset every time. Jab, cross, jab, block, and kick. Good. Play around with your tempo, play around with the height, and again, always try to have fun. We got jab, cross, jab, block, and kick. Good. I promise if you make the noises, it makes it a little more fun. We got jab, cross, jab, block, step it back, crescent. Good. Let's do one more. Jab, cross, jab, block and crescent. Nice job. Shake it out. Grab some water. Combo number one, complete. We'll move into combo number two. We have three combos, three conditioning drills, and we'll finish with our post fight pull down. We're starting two of those three combos. Find your pivot. Find that little sway or that slip. Take a couple big deep breaths, hands are in guard. We're gonna do switch it up a little bit. We've got a horizontal elbow, an elbow, and then this one's coming up after this one. We're gonna bob and weave back, bob and weave forward, step it in. It's a combo, we got a lead push, and then I'm going to turn for a double kick from that back foot and reset. Again, nice and slow. Couple deep breaths. Are we ready? We've got the horizontal elbow, the horizontal elbow, and the upward elbow. We're gonna bob and weave, bob and weave, step it in, push, turn, double kick, and reset. Let's pick up the pace a little bit. All right, elbow, elbow, elbow. Bob and weave back, forward, step it in, push, turn, double kick, and reset. We've got a minute on the clock. Again, elbow, elbow, elbow. Bob and weave, duck out of the way. Bob and weave forward, step with it. We've got a push, we're gonna turn, double kick from that rear leg, reset. Again, find those three elbow strikes. Bob and weave out of the way. Step into that last bob and weave for a push, turn, kick, kick. Good, hands in guard, reset. Again, elbow, 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 bob and weave for two. Step it in, push, turn, kick, kick. Good, again, the kicks can be low or high. I'll modify this time. We got elbow, 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 bob and weave for two. Back in front. Here's my push, I'm gonna turn. We've got a double. There we go, reset. At your own pace, find a tempo that you like. Bob and weaves, good. Step it in for the push, turn for the double kick and reset. Let's do one more, this one's too fun. Elbow, elbow, elbow. Bob and weave for two. Step it in, push, turn, double kick and relax. Nice job, I like that one. Our conditioning drill, it's gonna get fun for this one. It's 60 seconds. We're gonna travel from one side of our mat to the other with kicks. But first, our left hand reaches up. We're gonna bring our right knee up for two, and then we're gonna skip 
kick for two. Again, my right hand comes up. I've got two knees. I'm gonna skip to the left and kick with my left foot. Are we ready? 60 seconds on the clock. Let's go. It's knee drive, knee drive. Kick, kick. You're adding a little hop. Again, knee drive for two. Hop, kick, hop, kick. Good. Knee drives. Work in the core. The kicks can be as low or as high as you like. Find your knee drives. Kick, kick. Good. Knee drives. Kick, kick. Good. Take a little pause if you need to. We're almost there. We've got 15 seconds. Give me the knee drives for two. Kick, kick. Good. Knee drives. Kick. Little hop to make your way to the other side of the mat. Knee drive. Two. Kick. Kick. Good. Keep it moving. Last one. Nice job. Shake it out. Woo. Heart rate should be elevated. Let's take a second, grab some water. We have one more combo, one more conditioning drill, and then we take it to a post fight cool down. Big deep breaths. When you're ready, hands in guard, find your slips, find the pivot in the feet. Give me a little sway side to side, hands come to guard. We're gonna go hook to the body from that back arm, pull it back, hook to the head. We've got four alternating uppercuts. I'm gonna step it in. We've got a lead side push, so we're gonna lean to the side, push with our heel. And then I'm gonna turn and give me a double push from that back leg. Using the back leg a lot today. Again, nice and slow. We've got a hook to the body, a hook to the head, four uppercuts. We're gonna step in for a push, turn for a double push. Use the heel. If you like the snap better, go for it. Use the top of the foot instead. Again, one more time slow. It's a hook to the body, a hook to the head. Up, 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 up. Step in, push, turn, double kick. Lots of kicks today. We've got a minute on the clock. Take your time. Hook to the body. Hook to the head. Up for four. Step it in, push, turn, double kick. I like that double kick today. Again, hook to the body. Lean it in. Aim for the rib cage. Then the jaw. We've got four uppercuts. We step in and push, turn for another double. But seems to be the theme for class today. Again, hook, hook, up, 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 step, push, turn, give me two. Good, reset. We've got time for two more. Hook to the body, hook to the head. Four uppercuts, aim for the bottom of the jaw, step it in and push, turn, Double kick, reset, we got one more. Hook to the body, head, up, 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 step, push, turn, double kick. Nice job, shake it out. We have one last conditioning drill. It is a jump rope, it's 60 seconds. We're gonna take four skiers where we turn and two jacks. Now, if you get the arms going, and you can get those things matching, great. And if not, just take a basic jump rope in 60 seconds. Let's go. So I'm gonna start with the jacks. Now, if I can add in some skiers, woo, that makes your brain work. We got some jacks, the feet stay together, and you find some skiers. Otherwise, just take it right here, nice and easy. Boxer bounce with your jump rope, the arms are swinging. Light bounce on the foot. <sighs> Halfway there, 30 seconds.
You got it. Keep the arms swinging. Maybe you take a double, double bounce. Maybe you want to pick up the knees. Kick the heels or stay as basic as you like. Just keep moving. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Shake it out. Grab a drink. We've got southpaw for that third combo, and then we stretch. When you're ready, hands in guard. Find those slips side to side, pivot on the feet, take a couple big deep breaths. Are we ready? Nice and slow. We've got a hook to the body. Pull it back, hook to the head. Immediately move into the uppercut from that front arm. You've got four total. We're gonna step in and push, and I'm gonna turn bringing that rear leg forward for a double kick, lower high up to you. Reset, again slow. Hook to the body, hook to the head. I lost it, where do I go? There we go, uppercuts for four. There we go, step it in, push. Turn, double kick. Good, let's pick up the pace. We have about a minute and a half on the clock. It's a hook to the body, hook to the head. Up for four, aiming for the bottom of the chin, step in, push, turn, give me that double. We're practicing that turn today. I like it, are we ready? At your pace, body, head, up, 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 step, push, turn, double kick. Good, reset, bringing that right side facing. We've got body, head, up, 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 push, turn, double kick, good. Reset, keep moving, hook to the body, to the head, immediately into your four uppercuts, push, 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 good. Move at a pace that you're staying ahead of your opponent, keeping that heart rate up. Lean into that body, head, up, 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 up. Push them out of the way, kick them when they come back. Reset, let's keep going. We got time for two more. It's a hook, hook, up, 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 up. Push, turn, kick, good. Reset, we got one more. Hook to the body, head, up, up, up. Up, step in, push, turn, double kick. Nice job, shake it out. Grab a quick drink. And we've got our last five minutes of class for a post fight cool down. Nice job today, guys. Let's bring the arms up, interlace the fingers and reach the palms up for the sky. Let the hips lift. Reach up out of the rib cage, maybe a little side to side stretch here. And then slowly release the grip on the fingers and open up the arms wide, reaching the chest for the ceiling, pulling the arms back and down nice and slow. Continue to let those arms come down easy. We're going to reach behind the back, interlace the fingers behind the back, pull the palms and the forearms close together, roll the shoulders down and back. Let's open up that chest. As we keep our hands in guard, we keep the chest really tight. We want to make sure we open it up before we go about the rest of our day. Keep that hold. Keep opening up the chest. Look towards the sky, lift the chin. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Good, slowly release that grip. And let's take a fold, reaching the hands all the way from the floor. Tucking the chin to look behind you. Let that upper body hang heavy. Let's decompress the spine for just a few moments. Let the head hang heavy. Maybe shake it out. Yes and no. Let the arms hang heavy. Find a couple big deep breaths. 
Okay, we're gonna bring the hands to our mat and walk them forward or step the feet back until you come into what feels like a plank. We're not gonna stay there. We're gonna drop the knees to the floor, untuck the toes and slowly let the hips melt to the mat. Lots of core work today. You wanna let that hip relax to the mat as we pull the shoulders back and take a couple of big, slow, deep breaths all the way down to the belly to stretch out that core. Very good. Slowly lift the hips and let's push the hips back, the heels for a child's pose. Reach the arms forward to stretch out through the arms and down the sides. Good, we'll slowly roll our chest up from that child's pose and sit our hips to our heels. We're gonna reach our right arm high and bring the left hand down towards the mat and take a side bend. Really push out through the side of the ribs. Reach in the, the right hand for the left side of the room, opening up, separating through the right side of the rib cage. Big deep breath. Stretching out through those obliques. Relax, very good. Let's bring it back up tall. The right hand comes down to the mat. The left hand comes up high. Find that side bend and then reach the left fingertips for the right side of the room. Open up through the left side of the room cage and take a big deep breath. Very good, back up tall. Let's bring the hands out in front. Tuck the toes. And sit the hips back to the heels, stretching out to the bottom of the feet. You might feel a little pressure behind the big toe. Hold that stretch for the foot. Lots of jumping, lots of kicking. It's important to stretch out our feet just as much as the rest of our body. Good, use your hands to push your feet flat to the floor to come up to a stand. We're gonna take that fold one more time. Stretching out through the hamstrings. Tuck the chin, look behind you. Maybe wrap the arms around the legs and pull your chest close to your thighs. Finding a stretch up the back side of both legs. Then we'll slowly roll up. One vertebrae at a time, let those arms hang heavy. The head is still heavy. The head stays until the shoulders come up. Good, let's bring the arms up, nice and slow. Take a slight back bend. Big deep breath as we reach up and then slowly let those arms come down to the sides. Nice job today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for cardio kickboxing.